Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick PSA video about the drama in the Honkai Star Rail community surrounding this man. If you don't know who he is, he goes by the name Tekt1, and he's an absolute menace to the Hoyoverse. He's comparable to Lex Luthor from Batman, if Lex was really loud, stole all the other bad guys' ideas, and was, um, divorced. Now, I really hate airing out his dirty laundry at the very start of my video, but we all know that divorce is a sin in the Holy Bible. I don't remember exactly what scripture, but I'm pretty sure it's right after the part that says, not to have sex with your neighbor's donk. Anyway, I thought I'd make this video and attempt to shed some light on this degenerate coomer and hopefully MiHoYo will ban him from the game right before Kafka's release. I know that seems like a harsh punishment, but you wouldn't believe what this man's done to our loving community. Number one, he's bald. I don't mean to kick off the video with ad hominem personal attacks, so I won't. I'll just leave you with this list of names and allow you to draw your own conclusions. BTK, Green River Killer, Voldemort, Thanos, Gollum, Dr. Evil, Darth Vader, Freddy Krueger, Kingpin, Bane, um, Will Smith's wife. Now I'm not saying the amount of hair follicles on your head directly correlates to your moral character, but let's not forget that the Dalai Lama recently asked a little boy to suck on his tongue. And suck my tongue. <laughs> Number two, he's a thief. Probably the biggest complaint I hear about Tectony is that he steals other creators' videos, titles, thumbnails, and all under the guise of a very controversial category of reaction content. This lazy form of content creation cannibalizes smaller creators and allows Tektron's smooth brain botted follower accounts to live in an echo chamber of his lunatic ramblings. But to be honest, it's not necessarily all his fault. I blame Rhett and Link of the fine bros who popularized this form of content on YouTube. These two walked so he could run. Well, run isn't the correct adjective. This man actually passed out cold for a few minutes when a pixelated fake girl popped up on his screen. So I don't think running is a great idea, but you get what I mean. After a bit of additional research, I found out that reaction content actually falls within fair use guidelines, so he isn't necessarily doing anything quote-unquote wrong. Uh, he also always shouts out the original creator multiple times throughout the video, he subscribes to them, he likes and comments on their videos, and he recommends that his viewers also support the original creator. Now this may seem fine, but actually it, it's, it's not. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, A, that sounds like he's doing nothing wrong, and B, a creator of his size providing a platform for smaller creators may actually help those he reacts to. Nope, that's stupid. That's actually just a blatantly false statement, and this current video will be a prime example. I usually generate a whopping 30 views per video, and if this video does less, it's obviously because Tekt1 stole my subscribers. Number three, he is negative. Every single game he plays, he does nothing but speak bad about it to generate views. Honestly, it's purely despicable. Number four, he's a shill. Every single game he plays, he does nothing but speak good about it to generate views. Honestly, it's purely despicable. Number five, he's a bully. Most recently, he's been banned from the Honkai Star Rail Reddit for spreading hate speech. I would show it to you, but it's honestly so heinous that I'd instantly get my account banned. I'll try my best to describe the event in family-friendly detail. One absolutely heroic Redditor made a doctorate-level thesis post calling Tectobuscus out on being a bad content creator. Unfortunately, this brave act put him directly into Sauron's gaze, and Tectony responded by saying, Your mom is a bad content creator. I bought her OnlyFans that she used to support your or gotcha addiction? Worst five dollars I spent in my whole life! Now this is obviously a purely despicable retaliation. It was not only uncalled for and borderline criminally offensive, but it got him banned because it's also blatantly untrue. I actually found average Redditor users mom's only fan page, and although the content is average at best, it's important to support single moms. Now in order to keep this video a reasonable watch length, I'll stop there. But like an iceberg, you can rest assured that his degeneracy runs deep beyond the surface. I live in Canada, and I have it on good authority that notorious serial murderer Paul Bernardo was recently removed from high security prison in order to free up a space for when Tectone sets foot in Canada. He'll be instantly arrested and imprisoned for life for his crimes against the Hoyoverse community. In the meantime, if you want to help cancel this man, feel free to download this image. It cost me a thousand dollars to commission, but I think it's very fitting. It's based on the Coney 2012 campaign, and I can only assume that Tectone's 762,000 subscribers are also child militant slaves because there's no way anyone else would want to listen to him. So yeah, feel free to download this image, print out as many as possible, post them all around your town and in your post office for all to see. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.